Hey guys, what's up? This is Simon from DevTactic. Today I'm gonna show you four gulp tasks that will save you time and actually money as time is money. So if you're not familiar with gulp, um, you could check out my blog to see more information about it or just ask me about it. It's very similar to Grunt, so if you know that, you will see many familiar things in this demo. So, as I'm a friend of Ionic, I will start a new Ionic app to show you those plugins and how to apply them. So, I'm gonna start a simple app. And if you already have a project or whatever, you can just skip this step and continue with the plugins we will install very soon. Okay, so let's open it. Okay, so actually we can already install all those plugins. If you want to have the complete code, just check out the link below the video to my blog. So I'm gonna type npm install save me not dev because we just need it for development. And those will be our plugins. Gulp load plugins. Gulp JS hint and JS hint stylish gulp fix my js you might know what this will do and the last one is gulp to do so we can already install them and take a look what's wrong okay what is Okay, um, there's a typo. It's obviously JS hint, as I said. Okay, so for this demo video, I'm gonna create a tiny controller inside our app.js just to see some of our plugins in action. And you might already see that I'm not making the controller as I would do. I include some, well, not wrong things, but the syntax is not, not like it should be in JavaScript. So make a bar. And something like this you might have in your code and you might have a function or whatever which does which does well whatever this is just for testing and to show the purpose of these plugins and maybe you have some to do's in your code or whatever so basically this is our controller you already see some JS hint tips from Atom, so we ignore them for now. We just save and we go to our gulp file. So here are already some default tasks by Ionic. And the first thing we wanna add is gulp load plugins. So normally you would have to add all these lines for every plugin we use and you would always have require, require, require and that would just get too long. So uh, the first one we installed was gulp load plugins and it works like this. You say plugins or whatever you would like, require gulp load plugins. Okay, so now 
this little plugin will include all our other plugins which have the gulp prefix. So you don't have to put a require line for all the plugins you add. You can now just use plugins dot your plugin and that's the first plugin which will save you a lot of lines and a lot of code and even some errors when you delete plugins and forget to remove the require line or whatever. So I would recommend this as your first plugin. Okay. So the second plugin I want to add is gulp.js hint. You can see this in action a bit here from Atom. Um, this is just for JavaScript syntax highlighting. And I'm not sure if we already have it. No, we don't. Let's add a JS hint RC file at the top of our project. Okay, where is it? I'm blind. Yeah, there. Yeah. Fuck my life. Okay, so in this file, you should put the parameters for JS hint. And I'm a bit lazy, I don't want to type all these. You can find them in the regarding article on my blog. So these are just some parameters for the syntax highlighting. Now let's go back to the gulp file and add the real task which will lint our code. So you write gulp task lint, it's the name we gonna call it and function okay so we want to return this pipe thing might confuse you a bit first but you will get used to it if you use gulp regular so we give in the source folder oh, come on which is js and dot js files. So on these files we call pipe plugins as we said plugins require gulp load plugins so we can just use it now. JS hint and additionally I installed a stylish or a JS hint stylish which just makes a bit tidier output. So call plugins JS hint reporter and make it JS hint stylish. Okay. Well, obviously that's the gulp source. So our first task is ready. Let's try it out. Okay, sorry, I'm an expert. I had a dot here and that was obviously wrong. So let's try our plugin. And what we see is a very pretty output of our JS hint. So it says strings must use single quote or notification in another way is preferable and this is better than that and missing semicolon and some additional stuff we might also exclude through our JS hint file. But for now that's very fine. If you use it in a big project that will help you a lot if you see those things and fix them. So at this point I thought why is there no plugin to fix those things? and I found one. So the next one we're gonna add is the gulp fix my JS. So again we add another task here in our gulp file and this time it's called fix.js. Okay so again the same we give in the source, which is again our dot www 
js dot js and we say pipe oh, come on pipe plugins as we saw it and fix my js dude and additionally we give in the destination so this plugin can fix files on the fly or you could have a diff file or whatever you like you can take a look at the options but for now we want those files directly back to our www.js folder so before we start our task let's go to the controller we added and let's save that so we can compare it better i hope those things won't get fixed <laughs> so let's try it out and go ahead with gulp fix.js okay you already see something happened so what happened it put our controller up here okay that must not be and the command is inside that but let's take a look what happened so double quotes are now single quotes here here we have okay the semicolon here we have three equals and the new object was is now this so as you can see my atom is not complaining about anything in this so what happened is everything which was ugly before is now fixed and this in seconds so if you run goblin you see there are now only these things which can be excluded or whatever is defined but never used this is just this case so this will save you a lot of time if you have clean code everything will work very very much better in the future so try to include this plugin somewhere in your workflow maybe even run it when you build something or whatever and yeah just be happy okay so let's come to the last plugin i found as you might have seen i added a little to do and i pretty often add this line to whatever remember this or come back to it later and maybe you don't find this line again if you have a very big project so this should not get lost so i searched for a plugin which would scan my files for this and i obviously found one because there seems to be a gulp task or plugin for everything so let's add another task which is the to do task And now we don't want to return anything. Well, you could, but I don't want to. So we give in the source, which is again www.js. Every file with JS in there. And we say dot pipe plugins to do. You might have seen it's very handy to have this plugins we don't have to mind any require up here so plugins to do and then we want plugins to do a reporter which should print it out as a JSON and you can specify some options here let's say file name to do dot JSON and finally let's say gulp destination save this file to the root of our project okay let's try it out and 
here's our to do file and here is the explanation as you can see very very nice you can if you run a Jenkins or whatever build server you can integrate it very good to display to do's or open things and pass this automatic generated file to whatever so this comes in very handy and the last thing you might want to have is all these tiny plugins or tasks we used to be chained so you don't have to call lint fix to do because I feel like you need them together often so I finally made a task let's name it quality because this boosts our quality and this will call lint fix js and finally to do so if I go back to here let's take that one back to the old version and let's delete the to do's so now you just need to call quality okay okay fix yes obviously not as you can see lint fix js to do linting result the file is fixed and we have the to do so I recommend you include those tasks to really boost your productivity and I would be very happy if you follow my channel or subscribe to my blog and if you liked it let me know it so if you have any questions just contact me so have a nice day